Hey everybody, this is Diane Glander. I'm with Coldwell Banker in Spring Lake, New Jersey. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the pros and cons of living in Spring Lake. Now for someone like me who lived in town close to 30 years, those cons are not easy to come by. But if you're from out of the area and you really don't know the town all that well, I think there are some things that you should know. Um, so I'm gonna get right into the pros. You know, it is a phenomenal small town. It's only about two square miles right along the Atlantic Ocean. There are three lakes though in, within that two square miles. Um, and it's just small town USA. Not a traffic light to be had. Um, the population does really increase a lot in the summer but we are a year round community, not like some of the beach towns when you go further south. You know, on that note, we're about an hour and a half from Manhattan and an hour and a half from Philadelphia. So not only is the town very scenic, the streets are wide, there's sidewalks everywhere. You know, people keep their houses in meticulously um, manicured lawns and gardens with huge flowers, just, just simply beautiful. What keeps it that way is the strict zoning that has been in place for years in Spring Lake. So if you're coming to town and thinking about buying a house, make sure you talk to an agent who knows what the minimum lot size is where you're thinking of buying, because if you just wanna buy anything and tear down, you may not be able to rebuild on that lot. Um, the schools in town are phenomenal. They go elementary, it's K to eight, and then everybody goes to Mount High School, which is also an excellent school. The shopping district is really, really uh, wonderful. It's all local mom and pop boutiques, but high end. You know, it is a luxury town, by the way. Your median sales price is going to be right around $3 million. And getting in for under $1 million is not an easy feat. But the downtown shopping is great. You'll find everything from clothing stores to pizzerias and ice cream stores. Uh, jewelry stores, surf shops. It's an awesome, awesome downtown shopping district. It's on Third Avenue between the lake, Spring Lake itself, and Washington Avenue. Do not miss it if you come to town to check us out. Um, our boardwalk is non-commercial, so it does run along the whole beachfront, but you won't find um, arcades or rides or any of that stuff. Um, there are two pavilions for the residents only, one at the north end of town, one at the south, and in them they each have a pool with lockers. Now the lockers are like the size of a bedroom closet, so you can store your boogie boards, your umbrellas, your beach chairs, everything there, play pens, leave it all there and ride your bike back and forth to the beach because one of the cons is that the town does get crowded on weekends in the summer and you don't want to have to drive to the beach. Um, it is only five miles, I'm sorry, five blocks wide though, so almost no matter where you buy in town, you can walk or ride your bike to the beach. There are three lakes in town, one at the north end, that's called Lake Como, one in the middle of town that's actually called Spring Lake because it's a spring-fed lake. And then we have Rec Pond on the southern border uh, between Spring Lake and Seagirt. Uh, it's, it's very, very scenic as you can imagine, all this water in such a small distance. So, um, you know, we touched a little bit on pricing. Rentals are super expensive here, by the way. If you're looking to rent a house for a week in the summer, it can cost you anywhere from five to $30,000 a week. Uh, yeah, you heard me right, 30,000. Um, if you're buying a house though, the tax rates are very, very low. The town is efficiently run. So a million dollar house is only gonna cost you about $8,000 a year in taxes. Now you compare that to some of our neighboring towns or up North Jersey, you know, it sounds like it's super duper cheap and it is um, very small town atmosphere everybody knows everybody the police know all the residents uh, the store owners know all the kids it's just a great great local community in the summertime you know of course the beach is where everybody hangs out uh, but we've got other things like summer recreation programs we've got a little league we've got junior guards for the kids, it's a competition that's nationwide. We've got surf clubs. 
there's just so much to do here year round. And yes, we are a year round community. Uh, a lot of the towns kind of roll up the sidewalks after Labor Day. We are open year round. Our population pretty much doubles in the summertime. So what are the cons? You know, again, um, if you're looking for a big piece of property in Spring Lake, the biggest you're gonna find is about 150 by 150 foot lot. And that's gonna cost you upwards of $5 million. So if you are looking for a lot of land, you know, Spring Lake is probably not for you. Most of the lots are 50 by 150. And um, it can be tight and crowded in the summer, like I mentioned. Um, Pricing again, median sales price is right around $3 million. Right now, the most expensive house in town is $11 million. And by the way, there's never, ever a lot of inventory. But right now, we're down to only 12 houses for sale in all of Spring Lake. Um, so what might be a deal breaker for any of you who are looking for gated communities? Spring Lake doesn't have one. But I'll do another video on a town that's just west of Spring Lake called Spring Lake Heights where there is a gated community called Fairway Muse. If you're looking for a condo, there's not many condos in town. Um, there are some above the retail stores on 3rd Avenue, and then we have a whole adult community on the ocean called the Essex and Sussex, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in an upcoming video as well. That is a 55 and older community. It, it is, uh, they do allow pets, it is right on the ocean. So we say for oceanfront property, it's pretty cheap. You can get in there for about $400,000 a unit, by the way, but they're mostly studios and one bedroom units. So um, that's kind of my little take on Spring Lake, pros and cons, obviously not too many cons from someone who loved it so much. If you are looking for a local real estate expert, again, my name is Diane Glander. I am with Coldwell Banker right in town, and my cell phone number is 732-233-9630. If you like what you're hearing, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up below. Thanks for watching.